Yes, hello everyone, this is Dr. Shahar Khan, Executive Plastic Surgery, Board Certified Plastic Surgeon. As you will see on this MRI that is attached, it will show that the MRI radiologist read this as effusion, which is fluid around the implant, and number two, that this uh, fluid going in into the case I knew existed, and so it was important for me to send, we knew exactly what the status of the left breast implant was as well. You can see the masses which were highlighted and reported and these were removed. So the MRI as you can see guides and also helps assist in some select patients uh, so that when the surgery is done we can kind of put the clinical history and physical exam plus the imaging together so that we get the best surgery. In this case the patient had set up implants from 1984, one only on the right side then she had what is supposedly a rupture and a second set of implants placed. So going into, I wanted to make sure there is no residual spilled silicone from the 84 implant. The MRI uh, is the study of choice and MRI without contrast if and when done uh, is the study of choice uh, to be uh, uh, the imaging of choice uh, so as to detect any breast implant uh, rupture. Now saline implants, you majority of the times do not need any imaging because if the implant is uh, there and you can palpate, you know it's intact. That's the beauty of saline implants if you will because if they do rupture like a water balloon, they will completely deflate. However, silicone implants, they very well may be ruptured and one cannot tell, just like in the case yesterday, if they are intact or not. And MRI without contrast is the study of choice. If someone has had a history of rupture and another set of implants put in, then I need to assess and see if there is residual silicone um, from the first set of implants so that I can remove that as well or maybe another capsule if she had implants above the muscle the first time around and a second set of implants below so I can remove all of the respective capsules such that there is no inflammatory burden left behind. This is Dr. Khan, Executive Plastic Surgery.